Hello, this is Mike coming at you with a video of two packages I received in the same day. This first little package here is from Fireman Food, 1988. And this other package here is from Curbs Garage. Yeah. And I'm fishing. Uh, I've already opened these packages up. Uh, I did this video and I ran out of time and it got dark on me. So I had to, I'm having to redo this video. So I've already took, uh, I had already went through everything. This here's the packaging that was in this box. And this is the packaging that was in this box. I'm going to push this on out of the way now. And we're going to get to it. First up, we have the Chevy Silverado from Fireman Food. I have one, and the card is not in really great shape, so I'll open it and I'll keep this one on the card. Yeah. And we're going to go ahead and get out the other carded one here. Try to. And it be... A GMC Motorhome. <coughs> Excuse me. A GMC Motorhome. And um, it's in, you know, it's in, in the package. It's, the, it's from 1996. Yeah. Nice. I, uh, ju I just received a loose one from SRGXIX there uh, a couple of weeks ago. I'm glad to have them. All right, moving on. Next, we have a 71 Chevelle convertible. And I believe I got this same car from SRGXIX there uh, two weeks ago. Or a week ago, whatever. I don't know how long ago. It's been long ago. Yeah. That's nice. Thank you, Fireman Food. And next, we have a 69 Chevelle. Very nice. Uh, I, have, I have only one 69 Chevelle. It'd be gray. I got it from SRGXIX. This one here, very, very nice, clean. And uh, oh, thank you. Excuse me. <laughs> I just got up. My sciences is aggravating me a little bit. And next we have a 63 Chevy 2. Nice green Chevy, uh, Chevy 2 with some flames there. And one of my favorite kind of cars, the one with the flames. Yeah. And next we have this Plymouth Duster Zamac. And I sent one of these to Fireman Food way back here. Kind of wonder if this is the one I sent him. <laughs> Ain't no telling. Thank you, Fireman Food. And next, we have a Pontiac Firebird. And it have the flames. Yeah. Nice. I don't think I have that particular color one in the in the uh in the collection. I have a five pack of flames. I don't know. It may be in it. Oh, and next we have a Buick. Uh, uh, what is this? A Regal? No, Riviera. A Buick Riviera. I have the new one that come out, the art car. I don't believe I have any other ones, but this one here, very nice. Buick Regal. Thank you, Fireman Food. Next, we have a 55 Chevrolet, and it's got black walls. Nice, clean, very nice. Thank you. And next, we have another Chevy 2. Very nice, clean.
Alright. And the last one from Fireman Food. A 61 Chevy Impala. Yeah. From the Fast and Furious. I don't know if this is from the set or the single carded one, but yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. That's all of the Fireman Food Box. Now, up oh, hit the ground. Now we're going to get into this other one here from Curb's Garage. And uh, we got one that's carded here. And we're going to look at it last. It's mainly the one that um, I got from him. First up, a Jeep. And it is a no-name Jeep. Very nice. Little 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 Jeep there. I say that'd be a renegade, but I ain't positive. Alright, I'm gonna change hands here. And let's see now. We're gonna reach in here and we got a say 70 Chevelle. I don't know how good this picture's coming out. This is a black car. I don't know if it's uh, very clear or not, but we hoping so. Hey, 70 Chevelle. Nice. All right. Next, we have another 70 Chevelle. And it'd be a nice blue one with white stripes. I've been wanting one of these for a while. And, uh, yeah, I'm happy to have that one for sure. Love my Chevelles. And next, we have a Pontiac GTO Judge. Uh, right there on the front, it says the Judge, but uh, my phone don't focus in on, on these little bitty writings and stuff. But yeah. Pontiac Judge, let's see what year it is. It is a 69 Pontiac Judge. Nice. Thank you, her, uh, Curb, Kirby. And y'all check him out on YouTube there. He's got some uh, pretty cool videos. He collects black walls, red lines, and vintage Hot Wheels. And other die casts, too. And next we have a 69 Corvette Stingray. Very nice. Black with yellow. All right. Moving on. Next we have uh, another one of my favorites. And it is a beauty. It's a 67 Chevelle SS396. Very clean paint job. Love the street look. Most definitely love the street looking cars. My muscle cars. All right, next we have another Pontiac. And it is a GTO and it is a 70 model convertible. And this may be a judge too. I don't know. Uh, it, uh, I ain't really sure if it's a judge. I don't see it written on there on it on this one, but yeah, very nice. Another another clean street look, like it. And next, we have another Pontiac, a '67 Pontiac Fire. I mean a GTO. And uh, I seen Gary's Hot Wheels collection had one he sh showcased here a while back of this, uh, this same car. And uh, his was really sparkly. I'm sure this one will be too. Get it cleaned up. Maybe put a coat of wax on it. I don't know. I don't know how they get these jokers to shine. But Next, we have a T2 pickup truck, Volkswagen. And it be in the blue with the hardware deco on the side. Yeah. I got one of these. I believe it's carded. I ain't positive. But yeah, nice. 
And next, we have a 69 Dodge Charger with the politically correct rear window. Yeah. And the grill on the front is proper compared to the newer mod newer ones they make. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you, Curb. And the box is empty. The last one is a 60. Uh, wait a minute. Let's see. It don't say. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, God. <clears throat> a Corvette. I'd say this is a 63. It's a split window Corvette. And, uh, very nice, clean Corvette. It is, uh, kind of a, the color is like a black, uh, purplish sort of color. I don't know how to explain that, except it's black is, uh, black and almost like purplish look to it. Very nice. And that is it. That is all of my, uh, uh, stuff I received from the two boxes in one day yesterday Wednesday and uh anyhow like I said y'all check out Curves Garage on YouTube I would say check out Fireman Food but uh he pulled the plug on his channel there sure did thanks to the federal government and YouTube I don't know if he'll be back eventually or not, but uh, he's a great guy. He is a uh, hardcore diecast collector. He has got some diecast. I wish that uh, things were not like it, uh, you know, hadn't turned out like they are. You could go see all of the. Uh, all the goodies he's got. He has a bunch of them. And look at there. Here's one I forgot. Cream of the crop. I got a green light. Gone in 60 seconds. The Eleanor. And it be the 67 Mustang. Yeah. Very nice. My first green light. I might have just said that. I don't know. And it also, it says here, limited to 4,600 pieces, and a chase piece is limited to 200 pieces. So, I don't know if this is considered a chase piece or not. Uh, it says here it's a chrome edition, but yeah, very nice. Like it. All right. Now. To those who are subscribed to me, I appreciate you coming by. Y'all know who you are, the ones that leave comments all the time. I appreciate you want big time. Uh, my channel is for the adult diecast collector. So it is it's not this this videos or my videos aren't made for kids. They're made for the adult collector. And, uh, that's, uh, just wanted to clarify that for the YouTube family. And, uh, I appreciate, uh, everybody that watches my videos and the ones that subscribed. And, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm at 88. I'm at 88 subscribers there. I'd like to hit 100 before this year's out. So, anyway, I'm going to get on out of here. Uh, happy hunting to all y'all, and good luck finding what you like. And uh, we're going to catch y'all on the next one. And this is Mike. And I'm gone.